anchor. Much appreciated. Thank you. you. All right, Carl Icahn, that's just one story that was being featured on BuzzFeed. Now, this is a news and entertainment website, and it seems to have mastered the art of getting you to actually click on the videos and the stories. Whether you watch them and read them, well, that's for us to discern, determine. Some clickable headlines today include the unnecessarily censored version of Finding Nemo. Another one, which beetle are you? Also, which European country do you actually belong in? My next guest job is to figure out how to make money from all of your clicks. Andy Wheedlin is the chief revenue officer at BuzzFeed, and he joins us now from San Francisco. Also joining us, uh, John Ehrlichman, our senior West Coast correspondent. He comes to us from Los Angeles. Andy, I want to just start it off with you. What is the role of the chief revenue officer at BuzzFeed? My job is to figure out how to take all this traffic and make money for the company. All right. And what do you use as your guide? Is it old media, new media, a mix? Because you've got sponsored content, you've got original content. Tell us. Yeah, so um, I've been in digital media for 15 years and always kind of bugged me that the only way you can make money is by running banner ads or pre-roll. And we have a different take. We think that people come to BuzzFeed to find awesome content to share with their friends. And so instead of interrupting people with banner ads, we work with brands to create content that people like and share with their friends. So for the first time ever, brands can do word of mouth marketing at scale. John Ehrlichman, is this similar to what went on, let's say, in the 1950s and 1960s with television programs that were sponsored by individual corporations, and they were the ones that provided the funding for original programming. Well, I guess you could argue that BuzzFeed may have taken a page out of that playbook, but really, in a lot of ways, BuzzFeed is helping to rewrite the rules of this whole game. I mean, Andy said it right there. Banner ads, we knew they never really were that successful. Brands want to be a part of the story. It doesn't matter whether it's in, you know, the written word or in video. And BuzzFeed has found this way to get people curious about content, not just the fun stories that you might discover through BuzzFeed, but through stuff that is actually sponsored content, which in some cases can be shared amongst people on Facebook more than uh, traditional stories. Andy, I'm wondering if you can give us an example of sponsored content and original content from BuzzFeed. Sure. Well, we work with Geico, which is obviously a very large advertiser, and they want people, their customers, to um, talk about how awesome it is and how delightful it is to be a Geico client. So every week we publish stories about delightful things. It could be cute animals, it could be amazing internet memes, but we're, we're, we're creating this content so people who like Geico can share it with their friends. All right, well what about an example Andy, of original content? Well, we have a, a team of 150 editors and they publish 400 original stories a day. So it could be hard news, it could be news on the Olympics, or it could be uh, cat and puppy memes. It really doesn't matter. Our goal is to create content that people not only like to read, but they feel compelled to share with their friends. Andy, it's John Ehrlichman. What if the platform changes a little bit? Obviously, everyone's been talking about Facebook's purchase of WhatsApp. Um, if people are sharing stories through WhatsApp, what does that mean for you guys? On top of the fact that Mark Zuckerberg made it very clear that with WhatsApp, there's going to be no rush to introduce advertising, given that in a lot of ways the advertising is already in those sponsored stories that you guys have. Does that create an opportunity for you? Yeah, I think we're a little bit ahead of the curve. Uh, several months ago, we saw that WhatsApp was blowing up. So when people are on BuzzFeed and they see an interesting story, we make it easy for them to share it across platforms. So whether it's Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, or WhatsApp, if people like a story, they can very easily share it with their friends across the social web. Hey, Andy, isn't there, though, a conflict of interest that you've got to walk here? Because if you've got a big advertiser or a company that's got sponsored content, you're not necessarily going to write a negative story about them, or would you? <laughs> Sometimes I wish that was the case. No, we have a, just like any other media company, we have a wall between church and state. So we create content for brands that, that we think is good. Um, on the other side of the wall, Ben Smith, our editor-in-chief, is, is writing news stories. And occasionally he'll um, write a story about a particular brand that uh, may be favorable. But just like any other media company, we have a wall between church and state. What do you want to do next in terms of Bud, BuzzFeed's reach when it comes to original content? Well, you know, one of the things that if, if you're uh, 
uh, viewers are on Facebook, they've seen that um, BuzzFeed has sort of graduated from lists to videos, and now one of the big things is, is these quizzes that seem to be taking the world by storm. So what city should you actually live in, or what Game of Thrones character should you actually be? So we want to uh, provide this with our advertisers and, and create fun, interesting, lean-in type quizzes for our brands on BuzzFeed. And Andy, it's John again. If, if you guys saw the change or the developments with WhatsApp, maybe ahead of the curve, what's the next place where people are going to be going to actually share this stuff, whether it's a quiz or a traditional news story? Yeah, I, I think that's a, a really good question. I think um, people are getting their news from a variety of sources, whether it's the um, their news feed or whether it's Twitter or whether it's Pinterest. and. Um, BuzzFeed's sort of agnostic yeah. as to where you get your news. We just want to make it um, easy for uh, people to either start at BuzzFeed and find content to share or come to BuzzFeed because they see a story in WhatsApp or Pinterest or Twitter. I want to thank you very much for joining us, Andy Weedland. He is the Chief Revenue Officer at BuzzFeed. He joins us from San Francisco. And John Ehrlichman, our Bloomberg West Coast Senior Correspondent from Los Angeles.